Welcome back. We are live from PTL here at the Home and Garden Show, our final day here at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. And our next guest has been with us since the beginning, Dr. Lori. Thank you so much. I, we've been with you so much. You're like a friend now to oh, us. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, Pittsburgh always invites me as yeah. one of the family. I appreciate that very much. And it's been an amazing week. Right. We've had some it amazing is. finds already. Yeah. <laughs> I know. What are we doing today? Okay, today we're going to look at stuff from our audience, okay. right? And there are three shows today and three shows on Saturday and two more shows, free antique appraisals, courtesy of our exhibitors in the Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show. So come on down. You're saying you're busy. You're and a busy I'm person. I'm so busy, but I love you all, woman. and I'll do them all. Don't worry. We'll get to everybody. <laughs> and so, last night, though, we should mention, you oh, had something really unique. We had an original Andy Warhol last night wow. from the early years, from the wow. late 50s, early 60s. So really wonderful. Before he became, you know, Andy Warhol. Right. Yeah. He was Pittsburgh's it's just Andy Warhol. Yeah. You know. But, and that yeah. was worth really a pretty penny. penny. A pretty penny. We had a great time. A great time. And we're going to look at some of these pieces because, great. you know, while we have big values and low values, we have great stories, no matter the value. Absolutely. That's so what do we have up first? Let's talk about Goya. So this is, of course, Goya, the great Spanish artist of the late 1700s. But this isn't the real one. The real one's in the Prado Museum. Yeah, right? In Madrid. Uh, this one is called an oleograph. Did you ever, did you ever eat margarine? Margarine. No. Oh, used to like call oleo. It oleo. Yeah, That's I remember. remember. Okay. Yeah, oleo. <laughs> yeah, margarine, I guess, is not very good. I, don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I have chocolate and french fries. I don't know about margarine. Anyway, but oleo is the word for, is the word for of course, fake butter. This is okay. an oleograph. It's a fake painting. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Value on it about ten bucks. Okay, but cool. Oh, but cool. Right. So yeah, sorry, every, Alan. every single year, my friend Tyler comes and he brings me something from his large collection of Mountain Dew and other Pepsi products. Oh, cool. This is, of course, the Mountain Dew bottle, and this one is part of his collection. And he always says thanks and have a good day. He's fourteen. <laughs> I love him. And my millennials and those younger than the millennials are always coming strong. Right. And they come to the home show to get good products, great ideas, new technology, and they. Oftentimes bring some of the cool vintage stuff that they're decorating their new homes in. Very so it's cool. a lot of fun. Yeah. Tyler's piece uh, dates from about the 1960s and value on it is about $35. Very cool. Every time you add to an existing collection, you make more money for your whole collection. Diana Ross, Whoa, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. She's looking good Young here. Yeah. Diana Ross, of course, and vinyl is back and it's back strong. It's not in very good condition, and if the cover is not in very good condition, we're not doing very well. But a great Motown, of course, piece of vinyl. In this condition, it's probably worth about $5 in good condition, as much as 45 Okay. So try to keep them in good condition. If you see scratches, leave them at the store. And then we've got this That's second really or third century Roman. Wow. Old, right? Very. Pretty old. The oldest thing I've ever appraised is, in fact, a 80 B.C., that's Cleopatra's mascara jar. Wow. And you know, her mascara wand is just like your mascara wand. Stop it. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> and it's terracotta, same kind of uh, clay as this. This probably does date to about the second century A.D. Wow. This would have wow. been for oil. And the jar was not was in, what was important in those days. The oil was what was important. Value on this piece, about $300. Okay. So neat, You're going, though. It's pretty old, who, but it's who not all that, that valuable. In? Who, that's Lori's. in our audience? That's Lori's. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very neat. Shaving mugs, right? Because in 1910, the, the Gillette people say, well, you know what? If you're going to go to the barber, you have to have your own mug. Because it is not actually sanitary for him to use the same mug on your oh. face and my face and Ron's face, right? So you have to have your own mug. Little so did you know I was shaving. Yeah, yes, yeah. well, yeah. yeah, you weren't. But <laughs> even though there are roses on the mug, this is called a shaving mug. And these mugs come in from usually France. This one says T and V on the bottom, which is for Tresselman and Voigt of Limoges, France. So when you start to read the marks and learn the marks, I always say, don't worry about the marks. Look for the bright white clay. The brighter and whiter the clay, the higher quality the piece. Value on that piece, about $100. Very cool. Well, there's from some, the late there's somebody's shaving soap yeah. from the early 20th century, or from early about 1910. That's great. Then I've got Carolyn, and Carolyn brought in this particular piece, which is a piece of Staffordshire. If you're not going to get it in Limoges, France, you might as well get your ceramic in the other great place for good quality clay, and that's, of course, Staffordshire, England. Right? Of so course. this is an English piece. Of course it is, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, we she's that. so yeah. knowledgeable. Yeah, yeah. Just go with it. Just go with it. Dr. Lori says it, it's true. That's yeah. our code. All right. But anyway, so the two places where you want to get your ceramics from in, you know, in Europe, Limoges, France, Staffordshire, England, and it says it right on it. Okay. It also gives you a pattern name. It tells you it's the Ragoon pattern. Oh, that's what that means, and that's what that means. So that's what you're looking at here. This is 22 karat gold banding, and it also is hand embossed. That means somebody sat there and actually painted it, wow. and then they glazed it, put it back into the kiln or the oven, baked it again. Value on that, 
which is a tulipary. The tulip stems actually sit right in those little indentations, okay. only for tulips. Yeah. Value on the tulipary, anywhere between, I would say, $200 and $210. That belonged to Carolyn. Okay. Very, very And then great. we've got this. What's this nice. for, Ron? What are we going to drink? Cream? No, cream? Not cream. You're going to have a heart attack that much cream. <laughs> <laughs> no, not cream. What's she this set for? Us up. I said it the same thing. <laughs> what do you think? Whiskey? I don't know. Whiskey? Where are we going, I don't know. Where are we going with You're this? You're not drinking too much beer with John DeSantis. <laughs> wow. Thank God for John DeSantis. <laughs> For All your right. dog? This dog particular piece belongs know. to Jen, and this particular piece is going to be used for a type of citrus drink. Oh, I was going to go there next. You were going to go there next? Yeah, well, you're getting orange right juice, there. right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, right. Orange, orange juice. juice. Orange juice. <laughs> that was this next. particular that was piece next. is part of a set, and this also is, of course, um, a nice English hunting scene. Value on that piece alone, just this piece, about $40. Okay. Hmm. Then we're moving into jewelry. I love jewelry. If there's three things that you want to collect. I learned this this yeah. week. What did you learn? Jewelry. Jewelry. Fine art. Fine art. Fine art. Now I forget the last Furniture. one. Furniture. Furniture. Ah, That's right. But if you that. just do jewelry, 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 we're happy too. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, grandma's brooches. Something you don't, even if it's not your style, I don't care. Take it. If your cousin wants grandma's brooch and you want grandma's brooch, fight her for it. Yeah. You want grandma's brooch. <laughs> okay. It's good to know. I know. Grandma's well, brooch. You know. Inciting violence take here. You on. No, not too much violence, <laughs> but you know. I mean, don't, don't really let her just fire take for it. it. Okay. <laughs> grandma's this brooch. This is a piece of Bakelite. <laughs> And it's a big piece of Bakelite. I don't know what Bakelite is. Bakelite either. is an early plastic. It's named for a guy named Bakelant who made it up. Okay. Right? He actually came up with the polymer. Mm -hmm. right? This particular piece is from the 1930s, 40s, and this would have been worn at a funeral. Black colored Bakelite. This particular piece has a secondary market value of about $350. Wow. And it's not all that old. It belongs to Barbara. It's making me want that bacon. One's Thank really you, nice. Barbara, for bringing that in. These particular pieces. This is Carol's, this is Sue's. Both of them are costume, both of them are very low value, but nice family heirlooms. Mm -hmm. Probably worth about $25 each. Not too bad. And then we have a That's beautiful. rose gold 70 year old watch. Oh. This particular watch not only has Burmese rubies, rubies from Burma, but also it has a Swiss movement and a couple of diamond chips in the 14 carat rose gold. Rose gold as a rosy color. So, what mm -hmm. do you mean by Swiss movement? Swiss movement means that it was the movement or the works were made in Switzerland. Some okay. of the best watches are made there. Gotcha. Um, other than the Patek Philippe watches, which are of course French. This particular piece, well, Swiss. <laughs> this particular piece has a secondary market value anywhere between three hundred and four hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. That's beautiful. And then though. We want to wait. save these for later. We right. can't wait. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going right. to say, we'll I can't wait to hear about the value on those. Yep. Yeah. And as you uh, heard Dr. Lori mention, you can bring your treasures to her for her appraisal at her Antiques Home Show on stage here at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. She will get to everything, she promises. I will. You can see her show hours here on your screen and stay with us. We'll check back in with Dr. Lori before the end of the show to see about those last few items here on our table. All right.